the thing where you have an R5 pick, but you look at team comp. You want to yeah. look, look at the enemy team comp and counter it. If you picked something, let's say, immobile, like a Kog'Maw mid there into Jarvan, you're just asking for it, right? Yeah. Uh, so you need something that's a bit more bit diagonal. Um, and I think it's just a case of when both, Jake, uh, when both teams want to pull the trigger on Drake's. Um, both pushing the Drake can work. Nice interrupt there by Agresivo. No flash, of course. Gonna get stunned Knocked back to the wall. Are we about to witness the solo bolo? He gets stunned. Genex keeping it going. Another it's wall. It's a solo bolo. Oh, he's gonna throw the drill out. Boom! Get it with the drill! Genex first blood! That's the power of Gnar right there, baby. That's a counter pick for BDS. Staying a little bit, taking a lot of damage back. Could stop this from going down. But anytime you see that white gun, you just have to think to yourself, tower plates. So if they are left alone on that bot side, it could be devastating. In the meantime, Dragon will fall. SK gonna respond with a Herald, so maybe not the biggest advantage that BDS could have gotten, but they are making even trades. Bye bye, Shelly. Wanting if you're able to get that jungle support, but it just has not happened quite yet. Maddie stepping a little bit too far forward. A flag, a drag, a cataclysm. Now he's gonna get knocked up, so they're trying to turn this one back with the Renato ult. It's just too much. What? One plus Go from bad to worse very quickly in Narlanes. 2.6k gold advantage, 2.5. Wow. That's big. Right, he's got one more their draft strategy, but when you don't have that context, it's easy to ask, why wasn't the NAR prioritized more? You got a Wukong, and you got an Aphelios early on, but was that really a, a pick you needed to contest? Let's not forget the Zeri either, right? I mean, yeah. if it was a first pick NAR, maybe we'd give them the Oh, stunned, Service. locked up the CC coming through. That is one dead mid laner. Signs of life for BDS now, and they're looking to keep this one going. Genex is so incredibly fed, though. Oh Megan on Genex, he's absolutely hooking out. Oh my god, you will not What's like him when he's angry, and you certainly won't like the SK bot lane either. They're just tearing through him. Oh, okay. the fight starts. Then there'll be a 15 second time oh. before he starts to stack rage again. Oh, Genex going in, getting a little bit over aggressive. Of their nuclear off to the side, but honestly, SK just so far ahead, and certainly Gen X so far ahead that it doesn't really cost him anything to leap forward like that. Here comes the Sibo in the area. Sinkrock coming over the wall will not quite be able to steal it. Ally will hit allies. The hostile takeover comes in. A nice handshake to bring Sinkrock right back into the fold of SK nuclear and on the side, but he doesn't have the damage to keep things going. And Gilius diving in once again. Maddie cannot catch a break. Gilius' ult has his name on it. Jax goes golden just for a little bit of extra flair. Don't even think he was at risk there, but the double kill comes out from Jezu, and it's just a massacre. It is indeed. Closest great. member in the area, but Midwave also could start to get pushed out here. SK keeping the pressure on. Yeah, I think Genax wanted a different angle there on the Meganar. He wants to get them into the wall, but he actually pushed them both away. Saved his carries. Yes. Oh! oh! <laughs> okay, well. Down you go, Syncroft. Jesu says, good night, sweet prince. Are they gonna go towards Baron Genex? Genex? That's what? what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh, what the oh, 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 He knew, he knew. Oh, 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 the dream oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Beat it and absolutely outsmarted. Holy moly. Genex is playing five-dimensional chess out here. Pops the emote. That's gonna be a Baron. Four kills to SK. Never doubt it. I have never seen such flawless on the fly math calculations and or luck. Regardless, SK with a clean, clean punish. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Genex pushing in mid here. We got a 1 4 setup for SK. And just as we talked about in expectations, we expect SK to just demolish BDS okay. and then they'll be sitting pretty comfortably. BDS. Waiting. Big ulti for Maddie. Trying down. to get something and just don't have the damage. This treat's already taken out. Genex off to the side with a Megan R. E. Q. Flash. Maddie got that target on his back. Genex not going forward, but it's a big whip. That said, it doesn't look like it matters. Uh, nuclear in, continuing yeah. to poke, continuing to look for an angle. Aggressivo still standing forward, trying to be a menacing frontliner as SK will break one, and now a second inhibitor to follow. Inhib should die. I don't think BDS have much left on the engage. No Sejuani ult, no Wukong ult. They're just gonna have to watch it die. So although Treats died, doesn't really matter too much. They ca what got what they came for. Nice. And I think the most important thing for SK is not to get overconfident. Yes, they played an incredible game. Yes, they should be proud of their performance, but We've seen so many teams start to fall down as soon as they're, you know, convinced that they're one step ahead. They're really feeling it. So cannot let ego take hold as they've still got Mad Lions coming up tomorrow. If they beat Mad, well, then you give yourself a little bit of ego because that's an oh, incredible yeah. streak. Mad, incredible team. Well, Nuclear Inter snuck his way into their jungle. See if he can look for a flank here. But I'm not sure what target he's going to have to find. He's going to get spotted now. So does will run. They're just backing off. Treats off to the side. They're trying to get something done. A handshake to interrupt the engage. Gilly still in the area. It's a knock up. We're in big damage again, just trying to focus out Treats. Treats, if they can get a kill, he's gonna oh. get the reset! He's still standing! Genex is ending the game! SK, they're just so good at math! They're just now focusing down the Nexus. He's about to turn Mega, he's walking away, he's coming back for the he's fight! He's coming for the he KDA! KDA! Care about your Nexus! This man wants your life! Good night, BDS! They're getting put to sleep by a single player, and it is Gen X, is Certus. Oh, Certus, you gotta get him before, don't end! Treats, it's just... 
Oh, uh, this is he's given up on the happening? chase. Their game's gonna that end. Game is Tw over. 25 minutes in, SK. You knew it was done five minutes before that. Credit to SK. That was a monster performance. Yeah, probably one of the most dominating games we've seen all split. One of them from SK probably as well. Um, fantastic Friday for them. Absolutely. What a fantastic, yeah, great way to start the weekend. Feeling good, hugs all around. Quick game to kick things off and, well, wow. So, commiserations to BDS, of course. Yes. They're not completely out of playoffs yet, I think, but no. Uh, there. Now you've got a Samira spinning on top of you as well. Yep, and obviously her ability to use Blade World to stop the Feathers from being pulled back, to stop the Nautilus ultimate, who limits so much of the 2v2 kill potential post you, level 6. Did you ever play Beyblades? You mentioned those changes earlier to Gwen. It's going to feel pretty good to be able to execute those minions on the top side for relevant. Oh, sure Mickey. Catch up. Mickey potentially overstaying. He's trying to cancel the back. A nice flash to the side. Exhaust now coming out. Mercy Ignite now ticking down. Mickey stepping away. Chaining himself. If they try to find the kill here, he's going to get a bit more time. Can they finish Mercy? They do. Mickey's still standing. It's clean. The dash from Patrick. He's got enough. Boom speed to escape, but it's still just going to be the one for one. Great one for one trade there. In the way. Did Excel know that Mercer was there? They saw him for a glimpse, but there wasn't he any He dropped pings. the control ward. They saw the control ward. Okay, but now he's going to go mid, so they didn't expect this one. Duck. Walking away. He's in a lot of trouble now. Knockback on the BTO is big with the chains. Connect this time. Oh. Flash in. Finishing the kill. A thumbs up from BTO. Bit of a disrespect when he has that ultimate, and BTO will try to take it at the right moment to follow Nuke Duck through the ultimate. And Excel now Going to get themselves a dragon. Shlatan in base isn't going to be able to respond with a herald. Well played, well played. No response. Play on the offside. But Shlatan now runs top. He's looking for Finn. Uh, he's going to come in here. Finn immediately cleanses it. Tries to trade a little bit back. Shlatan fully committed to this play, just zoning Finn away. Has to be careful for Nuketok's ult, though. He can cast it straight up towards top, and Shlatan would probably have to flash away, but not confident enough just yet as XL collapse. Mercer is going to make a pick here. Mickey. Holding on, Hostile Takeover can come out from BTO. Maybe just look to use it now, locking up Mickey. They're gonna start to hit their own allies here, splitting apart though. Mercer's gonna be the one in trouble. Mercer taken down before the fight even kicks off. That's the cannon barrage laid down. BTO does not have any other alts to steal right now. No cooldown available on the hijack. Excel finding the kill. Yeah, so much zone control from Excel. BTO could not even step past the tri bush to try to. For Excel, it's Patrick who has the lead, who has the advantage here thus far. Uh oh, Finn, no flash. Walking away, taking his time to try to escape for this one. It's a very slow fight. Irrelevant keeping this one going. Another one second on the cast time. Finn still standing. Irrelevant. Oh, Finn oh, maybe get the Q. He has took the Q. Oh, one shot, one kill. Oh, Irrelevant going a little bit. By, uh, Santander, just to see what the options are. But for now, uh -oh. it's the enemy mid jungle that are making something happen. The knock up, the chain CC. BTO, where are you going to go? A stolen Wukong ultimate zooming out to safety. Babe well, Marcoon lets it rip. Easy kill there for XL. He sees it. VTO does have TP in five seconds. It will be on Unleashed Teleport, but he's looking for Nuketok, actually. Level 11. He has a stopwatch as well. This is going to be a very difficult call for Slotan. If he sticks around for too long, he is just going to die. Nuketok just throwing There's down TP. stones, chipping away slowly but surely. Very hard for them to get anything here. Marcoon still has the clone. VTO committing to this. Burning the TP in this exchange. Will not connect on anything, however. And meanwhile, Patrick off to the side. Keep your eyes. S rank. Wait for it to come through. The knockup coming out. He hasn't blocked anything yet. Mickey now going to be in trouble. The Berserker coming in. Neon getting snip snip down. Mickey will fall before the fight even starts. That's big for Misfits. A lot invested here by Misfits. They get themselves a kill. Do they get going to miss? BTO's going to focus down the wave, and it's just a big question of it's 30 seconds until this dragon, and now they're going to fight. Connecting. BTO obviously has a huge sustain advantage as long as he has that W up, but if Nuketuck oh, keeps it in arm's length, that's no going to be big, big slow. BTO now going back in. That's oh, a nice sustain, dodge. but excellent dodge. GP the Ghost coming in as well. The GP! Oh, it's a dishonorable 1v1, but XL will take it. Yeah, nice sidestep there by Nuketuck on the chains. BTO no flash, so he has to recommit to the fight, otherwise he's going to get chased down now. It's a very awkward situation here for Misfits because you're losing your top tower, but you also might lose Drake, so it's just a question of do you take this fight. The answer might be yes. Willing to take the 4v4. They know Finn has no ultimate. Slots on waiting off to the side. Markoon now committing fully for the fight. Irrelevant leaping away. There's no more hallowed mist to back him up. A tower destroyed on the top side. Misfits, they've committed so oh, many members. Versa. What can they get back? Versa on the side. BTO has TP in seven seconds. XL might just have to bail on this one. Otherwise, they're gonna be in a 4v5. Nuketuck's Baiting. top with no mana. Slaton, no smite. Still in the area, however. Still wants to There's threaten, still wants to posture. VTO now coming into the middle of the fight. Keep your eyes on Marcoon because he's burning, he's ticking, he's running. There's no smite in the area anymore. VTO with the stolen ultimate, pins him into the wall and takes him out. That is massive now for Misfits. A clean use of the Talia ultimate coming in from VTO. And Excel, they just have to give this one up. Credit to Misfits. They yep. committed so much to make that happen, but in the end, they for make Excel. it work. And it's easy to see what Misfits want out of these fights. A lot of melee champions who want to get into the back line, find these assassination targets and these resets. 
Excel have a lot of tools to play these fights out. Want the GP wants people to fight into him. The Talia wants to split the team nice as the combo. wall is fit. Oh, fit. Getting a lot of damage here. Just looking for the solo Volo wall coming down from the wall. Finn still standing. Still standing again. Oh, he's out. He's out. He walking out. He got bailed out there. And oh, goes Patrick. down. Patrick. He can start to look for the resets. They're starting to walk away. That wall from Nuke Duck was incredible. Man, it feels bad to be Neon in that instant. Game this two. has been about a trade of blows back and forth. Neither side able to walk away without, you know, getting a little blood on their shoes at least. See now, though, is again, Excel have a big lead here. Pushing in on the top side, looking to push it even further. 2.5k to their name, irrelevant. Mitigate a lot of the damage here, but is going to get knocked out of his own circle there. Nuketuck waiting off to the side. Now going to go golden. Gets himself a little bit of space and a reset, but now Misfits could look to take the fight, could look to turn things back. The bailout is on cooldown. Versa kicking the fight off, going in. Hostile takeover goes wide. VTO taking away the GP ultimate. Can look to throw it down on Nuketuck if Nuketuck starts to recall. Misfits. Playing with fire here, but who's gonna get the, the pings from Misfits there on the top tower? They want to try to look for a cross map. We'll see if XL give it to them. But that's sole point now for XL. 29 minutes into the game, we will see an O those resets going. So now the question is: Can XL get topside vision and start a Baron? Can Misfits stop them? The question is: Neon is now going to be in trouble. Wall coming over. Feathers are going to fly. The pullback though could just oh. be interrupted. And Nuke Duck. This man cannot miss. He has played so clean this entire game. Max ra range of a steal. Where is VTO? GP ult might be what he wants to look for. Finn ultimate just around the corner for himself. Setting up barrels in the darkness. Potentially an option for the team to pull back. He wanted to see the 1v1. Cadrill, here it is. It looks like VTO definitely does not win. Oh, Nuketuck, but Nuketuck just might. Going for blood here. The knockback now coming in. Mickey X waiting over the wall. Nuketuck just waiting in the back of the pit. Full confidence, his own ability, his own movement. One more sword slash is oh, gonna do it. VTO goes down. Patrick, keep your eyes on Patrick. Keep your eyes on the S ranking. Can he get it going? Spin, 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 baby. Not nearly enough. Now it's Schlotton's turn to take a chance at it. Schlotton gonna finish the job. Misfits using the power of Viego to turn the ties, but not enough to stop one end. Angry Pirate, Finn, with a double. But you have to admit Slotan waiting in the darkness. They're hoping if they could shut down Finn. No flash. We talked about it, the bounty on his head. I think they're ready to commit everything here. Slotan ulting over the wall, ready to get things going. A ward, they just want to kill Finn. Everybody is here to kill Finn, but Nuke Duck's on the backside, looking to get things done. A wall may have stopped him from going in. The Pirate is down. Misfits are now ready for a fight. Fantastic call there by Misfits. He just ults over the wall there. Slotan pops a ward, gets the TPs in. Gets they should know that this is not an objective that XL can take. Just push in mid, and then just keep the game going. Time is what they need. Level 16, Gwen. Level 16, Silas. Oh, bad. Or one very dead jungler might be enough for Excel. They just instantly shift their sights to the Baron. Are they happy with the pick? It looks like they are going to try to kit for a little bit more. Marcoon, no ultimate left in the fight to come. Misfits pushing in, but through a choke point nonetheless. Up against Finn with a lot of barrel damage if he can find it. Deja vu here, 4v5. Misfits up against Excel. Will Excel make the same mistake and overextend and try to take the fight, or will they look for a finish? No steal, no smite. Versa's looking for a hook. VTO's on the way. Two going in. Which ult is he going to take? That's what's going to, what's going to matter the most. Nuke Duck waiting off to the side. Ulti available. Potentially going to hope to split the team of Misfits. Handshake goes a little bit wide. Versa in the midst of everybody. That's going to be the hostile takeover. Now hit Neon. Neon getting Dylan. That's going to be one going away. Nuke Duck now running, but they managed to take the Baron, and that might be all that matters. VTO. The rest of Misfits, what else can they get here? What else can they yeah, trade back? Here, Nuke Duck zooming, no damage to cancel, and away he goes. You'll remember, this is the day you almost caught Nuke Duck. Help them get another set of cooldowns off is what they're looking for here. All Elixir is picked up. I think Finn has Elixir of Sorcery there on Gangplank. Gets a little bit extra tower damage. Hook hits Marcoon. Hook on a Marcoon. If you can force the ultimate TP out early behind. before the fight kicks off, that's going to be big. And they already have the ultimate down. Irrelevant now in the midst of the entire team trying to survive as long as humanly possible. Remember that he does have a stopwatch. He will go gold and buy himself a brief moment. But no. Hostile takeover just oh, doing so the much work right into the barrel. The setup that Excel wanted. They are wiping the floor with Misfits in the exchange. All it took was one ult from Mickey X and the barrel to follow from Finn. It just made it so dang easy. Patrick now stepping forward, another wall coming in. Clean route comes in from Neon to buy a bit more space with Marcoon already over the wall. There's just too many members of Excel left standing. Excel came for the soul, but they're going to take your Nexus. 25 seconds on Schlatt and a big mid wave double cannons should be enough to end up the game. Misfits had to take that fight. They had to stop them from getting the soul, but it was too little, too late. Vizio tried to come in from behind with Irrelevance, but Excel had the damage, the kite back, and the barrel sealed the deal. Positive signs for Misfits in the early game, but it was not enough to stop Excel looking back in form here. The yeah, LEC a big win for XL if you think about it because Misfits just come off the back of beating teams like Mad Lions, teams like G2 and uh, XL had a weekend where they were losing the teams right like uh, Astralis.
yeah. uh, and SK and things like this. So momentum back a bit for XL. Looked in the driver's seat from the early game onwards. Misfits tried their best to find angles, made that pick onto Finn. They looked like there was hope. They were slowing the game down. Appeal for both the Aphelios and Orianna that may struggle in terms of their mobility against things like Nautilus and the Poppy. Um, my big question marks is how will Vitality be able to reliably find engages? They do have the push, which then allows them to like work in tandem with El Yoya to secure early objectives. They're going to be hurting those Vitality eight minute stats. Unforgiven and Kaiser going to force the flash from LeBron. Kaiser follows with his own. It's like we hard all in and then we can set up for the invade on the bot side. And now El Yoya makes his way top and look in a position to answer Haru, but also Threaten to dive onto Alfari. Alfari's trying to trim out that wave, and the Heroic Charge will not find a stun. Or at least pushed away from the objectors. Stepping forward, Dredge Line this time catches onto Kazi. He's down below 100. First blood secured for Unforgiven. No flash available, but LeBron will be able to dive to safety. Now Armored taking the blows. The turn back around. Alfari will drop two kills to Mad Lions and 2,000 gold in the lead. Oh, it's just a beautiful early game from Mad. And now you can understand a little bit more about what I was saying is why I rate this team so highly, right? The early game execution is just a joy to watch. The way in which they left their prior, but let's see if Vitality can answer back. Well, Haru's waiting in the bushes for now. We'll keep her forward and puts that crushing blow onto Alioya. Level 5 for Perks and ultimately not a lot. Niski's not necessarily the flashiest, but the way he uh, elevates and integrates. The fog of war right now. Unforgiven. How suspicious is he? White red there for Kazi. Flash and cleanse available for Unforgiven. Kaiser's up in that middle lane. Unforgiven is about to get knocked up. He does indeed. Moonlight Vigil comes forward and there's the flash. Unforgiven oh. turning so oh. much damage. He gets the kill at 500 gold. LeBron will close it up in a 2v1 and getting hit by everything. He finds the kill. That is a Draven main right there. Unforgiven stares into the face of death and says, not today, baby. If I'm Look at what Mad do with this information. Immediately, the pings are coming down towards the bot side of the map. Kazi has to make a beeline to get away, but Kazi has his eyes set. Oh, there's the wall. Weaver's wall coming out. We'll cut off Kazi from escape route. He's got some damage down thanks to that blue purple. But there's just too much to deal with. An easy kill, the fourth of the game for Mad Lions, the first for Niski. And it just is complete control, fairly reminiscent of the opening game of Summer here. Mad Lions being able to get an early lead, they drop the Herald down bottom, this will unlock the tower as well. And they're just gonna extend that lead even further, Betty. It's just a... Uh... It's another great demonstration of Mad's ability to read the map and respond accordingly. Like, the second that Haru gets spotted top, the call is, okay, we dive bot. Even if we don't get a kill, we're using our Herald, we're taking that tower, we're, we're converting it into a Drake. Perks, though. All right, Shockwave will force him back. Some he'll use there by Niski. Flash forward from Perks Ooh. to the last command. Attack will secure it. Heroic Charge pushes Perks back into oh. the Mad Lions jungle, and that is the boot away to prevent any follow-up. One for one. Look at the players this summer in terms of their stats. Kill participation very high for Niski because of his play, as we talked about. Look at damage per minute, CSD and gold difference. Stark differences between the two. As I'm talking about the mid laners, there's an engage up top. Haru's not going to be able to find anything just yet. Well, in death finds the bounce once and twice. Here comes Alyoya. He's got the flash available to him. Haru's looking for that crushing blow, and he gets crushed himself. Unforgiven with another. The stun into the wall. LeBron is taken out, and Alfari forced to flash for his life. While that is going on, Perks is pushing the mid lane, but Mad Lions damage onto Unforgiven, but he just walks out of it and turns around to secure yet another kill. Three, one, and one. 6,000 gold up. And this has just been the Mad uh -oh. Lions show. Is now Kazi will get jumped on by Armut. The Molnar Vigil does so much damage. This is the snip, snip, snip. And Armut gets himself a solo kill. Oh my word. Kazi finds press this advantage. Do they dilly dally? Do they get caught in any shenanigans? Because that is what has cost them a few games, but I do not feel like that will be the case. LeBron finds the dredge line, the knock-up onto Kazi as well. The sidestep forced to flash, and the Whirling <laughs> Death closes it out. That's a double, as well as the secondary charge, another. and another dredge line. Perks is shut down in the middle lane. Now Niski's forcing Haru away. Mad Lions, they think about pressuring this turret, and they do. The Rift Herald will secure another five towers for the Mad Lions, and even getting the charge onto the inhibitor, Berlin is loving this siege. It is an absolute slaughter, isn't it, Quick Shot? It is. other international competition, but when there's one more opportunity, one more spot, 
He's got a lot more spicy now. Another engage. What? How does he do it? Kaiser finds another hook. Lebrov is already down. The knockup connects onto Kazi and he's taken out. Niski rides the Weaver's wall, but not too far. And with two quick kills, Mad Lions peel back for the Baron. They pulled Vitality, they played the bait, they set up all the vision, and they punish exquisitely. Yeah, Mads, they're, they're taking their time. They're not hot-headed like they've shown in the past. They're being patient. Kaiser does, in fact, miss a hook, but I don't think it's going to matter as the Baron's likely to fall. Baron will be secured by Alioya. So will the kill on Tuharu while Fori first forced to flash away. And I think four Mad Lions. I was literally just about to say, Benny. Provide Benny's. peel. Uh, and that means that every time Mad Lions just shut Vitality down in the fight. The Brov ends up being a taxi to Card Lions to lose a team fight. They have such a gigantic statistical and gold advantage. They're going to be locked off. The Weaver's Wall comes out. El Yoya finds the stun, but there's a gobble from LeBron. Aru's running for his life and can't use the Cyclone. Kaiser goes golden. The Whirling Death catches two. Ooh. That's another onto Perks. A rampage for Unforgiven. Two more quick kills as El Yoya looks for the fourth. The fifth, that's looking for the ace until LeBron. The inhibitor is popped. Vitality are destroyed, they are dumpstered, and they are dominated by the Mad Lions. Mad turn to an uncontested Nexus, a 2-0 over Vitality in summer, and send a statement for the playoffs. El Yoya will maintain his 100% win rate on Poppy. Mad Lions will continue to dominate in the early game. And what an incredible game from Unforgiven. Just all across the board, a fantastic game from Mad. And as you rightly said, a lot of people are going to be looking at them a lot closer after a game like that. I mean, five and five for Vitality. They are now tied in the standings with Misfits. But I think crucially that 0-2 against Mad Lions. If by some miracle those standings become very close towards the end of summer, that could be important. But I think uh, Mad banning away the Braum because what they didn't want to be doing was hooking in a Braum and then have him tank up the entire yeah. combo, right? Um, but now, by prioritizing the Tom Kench, sure, in terms of a matchup into the Braum, it's better, he but he's trading his health very aggressively to make sure that he had that prio to quickly assist his jungler. But Yankos right now is very much alone. A lot Cersei. of damage coming out from Cersei. Yankos down to 250. Caps is under pressure from Dale. Crushing Blow comes out. Yankos flashes over the walls. Cersei holds on to his. Punished again. Yankos is suffering as a result of it. Like, the, the jungle difference isn't super dramatic just yet. But the amount of control and information and time that Cersei has by getting a flash bot, getting a flash at top, of course, looking to start up that dragon. Actually, he's going to finish the recall. Junghoot's caught out. Exhaust still available to him. No flash from that earlier play. And first blood secured by a flacket. Copy's going to force to flash himself. And ultimately, after all of that discussion and play, G2 fought. Secured there by Yankos. That was uncontested. This is good. They're going for the top dive. And if not, they'll take themselves the tower. Eva's wall comes out, pulled just a little bit early. Chachi throws out some of the damage, and Yankos will be able to pick up the assist. Just so not and been suffering recently. They've been they've been collapsed on. They've been shut down. And we'll see if that continues to happen. Chachi actually TP back to top. Well, he's not going to be able to fall off the fight. Dragon is secured here by Astralis. Caps gets that seismic shove, but there's no further follow up. Targamas is trying to find or Will they catch him out is the question. Shockwave is available, steps forward, catches out Flacket, pulls him backwards. Flacket now stepping forward. Dale caught out here by Caps as well as the rest of the squad. And he's behind enemy lines, Ooh. making a run. As all of a sudden, Kobe and Yonghun, they're pushing in the bottom lane. I think it is a matter of time. What am I watching right before now? Before <laughs> Dale gets taken out, the tower will finish it. Caps gets the kill. Whirling Death kills the minions. And... Um, yeah, we're having a little bit of fun here, Betty. It's not done yet because it looks like Caps is now pressuring top lane. So, uh, I have many questions, uh, but I won't have time to say all in. Oh, he does indeed. The crushing blow as well as that Cyclone. Devour comes up from Targamas. Needs to spit out one. The second Cyclone. And Flack is still alive just long enough. One lost auto. Cersei gets the kill. Yankos bounces back. Ends up being wave and then collapse from bot. But 
Astralis do have control over the river. Chachi's the one in a bit of an awkward spot because there's no real way for him to rejoin his team. But Caps has collapsed off. Oh, he's caught out! Knocked up in the air! Holds nice. onto the flash Very and nice. taken out instantaneously. Yeah, the dragon is being focused down and that's a defensive flash away. That Hills is going to be the target immediately as he spat back out. Gets over the wall for now and Astralis are surrounding G2. Two quick kills. Targumus is going to run for his life. He should be next and so will the dragon. Astralis going to be very very, very happy with that play. Catching Caps on the flank. Targamus is uh, taking Astralis on a little bit of a walk around the rift. Okay, so given that we have this brief window, a flank angle, but G2 want to come from the same side this time around. They're in the same problem though, that it's Astralis that control the river. Chachi, 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 his Mega Nar is about to pop. Got Flash available to him. Yankos will find the stun for now. Chachi just needs one more hit. Broken Blade trading with Zerse. He gets knocked up by the Cyclone. Young Hood steps forward to that Glacial fish and Chachi's gnawed out, but he can't find the target. The first to fall is Broken oh. Blade, the Gnar! Into the wall! It's gigantic! The damage follow-up is just about there. No reset for Copy just yet. One, two coming out for Cersei and Chachi. Caps is running for his life and so is Targamas. Astralis control the river, dominate the fight, and are looking for the ace. Astralis do it again. They will shut down G2. They're looking to extend G2's Dragon. G2, how do they start a fight? Do they even want to? So look at how Astralis is approaching this as well. They actually use five people to get mid push and then they split up and then look for picks and they're looking for another one. Chachi's not with them. Broken Teleport blade. will be needed. Broken Blade jumps onto Kobe. He's gone so low. Broken Blade hasn't found the kill yet, but here comes Caps. He takes him out. That's the shutdown on to Kobe. Now Zerse finds one reply onto Broken Blade. Dayor's gone low and will be killed by Yankos. Astralis bite off more than they can shoot and G2 turn towards Baron. So G2 get creative and they punish the aggression from Astralis and they should be able to secure this as Yankos looks for another kill. He will secure it as 800 gold goes into his back pocket and this will likely be G2's Baron. Broken Blade finds the flank, finds the damage onto Kobe to open up not only the team fight but now the Baron. And I have the art of pushing forward, playing that aggressively ends up biting Astralis. And for G2, the Baron buff is so crucial for the way they've been playing on those side lanes. Copy right now is just running down Targamus. Thick skin used, continues to run for his life. Super Mega Death Tracker will not find its target. That's a death flash away, sorry, the Glocks Cone away for Flacket. G2 have been pushed, have been bullied, have been smashed, but that's a shutdown on to Chachi. Broken Blade still running amok, almost in a 1v5 is giving Astralis so much trouble. The dragon is still alive inside the pit, and G2 are low. Caps hunting for Xerse, won't find him, but this will be the first dragon. Crucially, will delay the soul. Xerse will just be a couple more autos away, dropped by Caps as well. Another great team fight from G2, and it seems that the Baron down the second that it spawns, and they're leaving their inhib open. Oh, there's no TP there for look, look, Caps. Look, look, look at the making his way up. Teleport going. Bart lane as Broken Blade will join Caps on the objective. Four members of Astralis looking at the Baron. TP coming onto the Nexus Tower as well. The rest of G2, they're trying to interrupt. They're pushing into the pit. The Nexus Tower number two is about to fall. Mr. Chachi gets a stun onto one. Caps takes up the second tower. Have they just won the game? The Nexus is being focused down. Flash away. A few more hits will do it. Broken Blade's going so low. And they've done it. G2. What was that? G2 made the correct call and they played the map well when it mattered most. They interrupted the backs, they knew that they had the damage to rush the Nexus down and they avoided the fight entirely. Great play from G2 to end the losing streak and get back on the winning ways. I, 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 I was not ready for that to happen. I could not find the words. Broken Blade and Caps pushing just, just enough time to take down that Nexus. I'm gonna go for Renata. Looked like they were hovering Brown for a few seconds there, um, but obviously choosing for the Caitlyn Renata lane. Honestly, Renata feels so good to play into Nauta list. Like, you can handshake him out of his queue, and not only that, you Put know. more summoner spells out from Upset and Hilly to then actually give more agency over to Comp and Trimby. Of course, Razork making his way down. Dredgeline will find Trimby. 
Uses that handshake. Razok flashes forward. The Pillar of Ice is fantastic. Trimby's locked inside the minion wave. First blood secured by Helisang. They're not done yet. Comp gets chomped, but there's no further follow-up, no further damage. And Comp's able to walk out for now. A really good gank from Razzle. But I do think it's interesting to contrast these two players, as Helisang always, always likes to play forward and in the face of his enemy. We see Marai hovering around mid lane. Humanoid does have the flash. Well, Humanoid's going to get interrupted oh. by that steadfast presence. Beautifully set up and played. That's a cool combo. I didn't even think about it. Sang will use this time to at least bait out some sort of play. Dredge line will connect onto Trimby. Flash is available to him. Moonlight Vigil comes out. Flash forward from upset, but he's low. Down to 300 HP. Being fired on by Comp. Forced to back away. Those Shockrams running amok. Comp's not going to die just yet as Wonder will be taken out by Malrang. And it looks like Comp and Trimby have survived. Razork, level 6. He's got that Subjugate available. The Pillar of Ice is out. Looking to chomp down on Odo. He eats an orange and it's not okay. Razor gets himself another two kills to two. Is that bottom lane? Nobody died. I love that just after we talk about Doing these wise the heroes, look, they're trying to gain prior through bots because Rogue is playing through mid. This then gives them easier access into the river. And now you see this dance. How quickly can Rogue set up around the objective as a flash comes in? Ooh, flash for flash traded and stolen away by Razor. Marang's caught inside the pit as the hostile takeover will buy some time. But Humanoid and Upset are melting through Rogue. Thus far to one for one, but Comp's running for his life, taken down over the wall. And Marang flashes away from that Moonlight Vigil. Razor won't be able to pick up the kill. Two for one and the Dragon. Yeah, in this position, in this map state, even though Rogue has have the bot push. They're like, you know, we have too many members top. Larson doesn't have TP. Like, let's not bother. Let's just concede this Drake. Let's just continue to scale for the time being. I mean, this dragon is, is pretty inconsequential right now. As Humanoid goes forward and oh. instantly taken out. Marang waiting in the wings for that exact moment. Yeah, uh, Humanoid three, four, correct. Years now, like it, it's it's crazy how their rivalry has developed and how close the two are. Fnatic now control the top side of the map. Marang trying to reclaim some of that control. Oh, well, that's a dredge line onto Marang. Commits a number of abilities, securing at least that kill. It's gonna of be course, a Baron. Baron is up. No smite available. Yep. Cannon barrage is a few seconds away. Where did Do Rogue <laughs> contest Hilly, this? Hilly just flashed over the wall. He said, I'm not wasting time, I'm just getting in there. Can they contest? Can they stop this? TP is up can. for Odo. Two seconds for the cannon barrage. Sand soldiers are available. 3,000 HP TP being used. Empress Divide is up for Larson. Down to 1,000 secured by Fnatic. Another barrel onto Humanoid after TP concludes. Enough Fnatic are being run down by four members. Another great barrel. Hop forward from Wanda. Uses the knock. Russell jumped on. Wow. Parlay slashed to the face. Larson throwing out those sand soldiers. Command attack available. There goes Larson looking for upset. Empress Divide. Fight secures the kill. One, two members down. Wonder and Humanoid now running for their lives. Odo looking to chain those barrels. Flashed away from by Humanoid. There's a TP in the middle lane. And it looks like Fnatic have got away with a few for now on that top tower. But Fnatic are not done. They're going to continue the siege. And I think, I by think the way, Vedi, I have to go back. You talked about how hard it is to kind of take down towers into this rogue comp. With the help of Baron buff, that makes it a lot easier. It may explain why. Fnatic are chasing all the way forward. Upset. Start takeover oh. comes out and upsets. Held in place long enough on the counter barrage to secure the kill or the barrel. Humanoid gets chunked out by a parlay. Wonders continuing to pressure the middle lane. And that's a knock against the wall into a two man follow. But the damage just is not there. Now the TP coming in from Wonder. All right. He tries to set up a play, but as you rightly said, quick shot. The follow up just wasn't quite there from Rogue. Man first, they have the mid in push. The mid in push, they have the push in mid, they have the push in top. Razor getting a little deep here. Oh, he is indeed, he's got the pressure for now. Ace in the hole comes out, Razor stays alive just a few seconds longer. Larson takes him down, oh. Meganar is up for Wanda. Hellasang forced to flash, the Moonlight Vigil does so much damage. Upset, Gale forces forward, flashes over, the Empress Divide, but here comes Odo, drops a barrel, gets the kick onto Upset, but it's at the cost of Comp's life. Odo jumped on by three members of Fnatic, he's forced to run for his life. Wanda hops forward, looking for that boomerang, waiting for the cooldown. And Malrang, the man who was jumped on first, managed to catch out so fast. runs for his life. It's a one for one, but all of a sudden, that Baron is looking very juicy. Malrang escapes wow, with his life. The fog what of war was as well. that? They couldn't find him. Fight. Playing it to perfection. Oh, there's no more members of Fnatic in the pit. This is a three-man Baron for now. Four of Rogue. 
closing the gap. 6,000 HP, it's low. Malrung is on 250 HP. Five seconds on Smite. 2,500 inside the pit. Channel on Hex. Can he steal oh. it into us? Road do it. Malrung gets the Baron. Razok flashes forward or hop forward. He's looking for that pillar of ice. Shouldn't be split away from the rest of the team. The package thrown down. Chucking up the rockets. Ace in the hole. Not going to be enough to pick up the kill. Odo's the target. And Razok will find it. Now Trimby and Cop turn it back around. It's another two for two. But the Baron to row. Malrang, you absolute mad lad. There was like... To speak of, the Malrang and Trimby are low. Fnatic, they've started this one off. Hillisang's coming from south Ooh. of the river. Malrang, Keeper's Ooh. verdict, sends two away. Now they hop into the pit. Hilly is looking for a target, but he can't find it. Larson blows him up. It's now a five versus four. Cubanoids drop down low. Wonder's got no Mega to speak of. Rogue, this time, in control of the pit. And now look at how much control they have. The Sand Soldiers, can they get the tracks Ooh. down? The burst damage is still very high, so the heal has been used. Larson Ooh. goes for the Empress Divide, but it's flashed away as Upset will once again escape. Oh no, this time being oh. jumped off by Razor and Wonder, oh. that's the shutdown. Trimby finds it onto Upset. Humanoid killed Upset. Are still running for their lives. Oh no, get poked by Baron for another shot. And now all of a sudden, Fnatic are back available. The Baron survives, but the teams do not. Oh, oh, oh. I love these team fights. Fnatic, they should be losing these fights much harder than they are. Humanoid. Gets caught, pulled back. The damage onto Trimby is so immense. The rocket will not find its target. But now they're forced to run away. Wait, but that's massive. That's massive because the rest of Fnatic have been able to reset. And oh, but Rogue, they're just going to commit to this anyway. Wonder is hovering around. Here comes Malrang. Fight! Fight! The TP. Currently alone. One v two, but no damage finding its target. Hilly needs to get through the trap. Humanoid, the Hex the shield stays alive for a few seconds, but Larson manages to pick it up through that Maw of Malmortius, and can they go for Baron again? TP, Under once the TP. more, Benny, it's just non-stop. Rogue is still trying to secure this objective, Hillisang's got the ultimate. I think they've got it. They're going to look to finish it off, 2,000 HP, Hilly steps forward and will not be able to find anything. Rogue, finish the Baron, they extend that gold lead by 4,000. <laughs> And it's just out a moment or two. Can you toggle to Fnatic Vision just to see how much darkness there is? Dancing on the edge. Hillisang oh. gets chunked down. This is what Fnatic are working with. Hillisang steps forward. The barrel is gigantic. Cannon Barrage not going to be able to finish off the kill. Hilly needs to run for his life. Wonder can stack that Mega Nar. He's got his sights set on Comp. Handshake pulls Comp backwards. And a rocket drops him a little bit lower. Wonder still trying to get that ulti. And Hilly oh, nice will buy some time to heal up. Here comes Malrang. That's a stun into the wall. Comp gets the final blow. Hilly will be a little late to this party. 65 second death timer. Dragon is up at Rogue. They're pushing forward. They're pushing into the base. They've got the sun disc as well. Odoame has the TP. Rogue, though, they're not going to overcommit. They're going to make their way towards the bot tower. And Odo is going to solo the drain. Malrang gets knocked up by that pillar of ice. Upset gets choked oh. out. So much damage. But Sand Soldiers in range from Comp doing work. The tower will be the next focus. Soul secured for Rogue. Looking for their eighth win in a row one inhibitor down another to follow 30 seconds before humanoid is up fanatic they're going to need some type of miracle fight to come out ahead but the range just seems so brutal for fanatic to deal with rogue continue to keep fanatic at arm's length yeah. and when it wants to hold on to it for as long as possible yep. super minions making their way towards it the base whoa. package picked up this is the double tp this is the double tp megadon's available it needs to be massive oh. that's not the way Melrod with the keeper's verdict but Razor is the focus for now chunk down low confines the kill it's actually odo that secures it the Malrang goes golden is upset cannot shoot any targets humanoid forced to run for his life. should allow an uncontested baron third of the game for rogue Malrang with the hero play again, interrupting that engage. The Baron now secured Rogue immediately. Fully as they can. Of course, Wonder now going to be a small threat. Flashes up. Wait for him to.
tie him out and go back to Mini Na and then see Do Rogue continue the siege. It feels like that's the case. Dredge line will find Malrak. Pillar of Ice locks him forward. But Helatan is so incredibly low. Malrak gets the bailout for a moment or two longer. But the kill is secured by Humanoid. Wonder chunked down by the parlay. Upset still full health. Got himself that red as well. Stepping forward. The AoE from the blue gun doing work. Lost and caught by the dredge line. But there's not enough damage. He flashes to safety. Gets himself the kill onto Helisang. Upset remains alive. Upset's got no summons available though. And the rest of Rogue are focusing on the Nexus. Upset can do naught to stop Rogue. The eight streak continues. Rogue take down Fnatic. I am exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> what an incredible game. We saw some crazy team fights, but it will be Rogue that continue their winning ways. Eight games in a row. Question marks surrounded the roster after a struggling start to the split, but they found their formula. They found their way to win. And huge credit to that man in the mid lane. The order was given. It was Fnatic's execution. And it was Rogue that delivered the blow. Seven.